Hey guys, it's Joel. I got a fresh one for you today. I'm talking 24 hours fresh. Let's take a look. Alright, so let's have a look at this dumpster fire of a page. This is BVK coin. Now, if you want to look right here, this does nothing. This does nothing. This does nothing. The news here is just a little copy paste of what looks to be headlines from other sources. This one here we'll take a look at in a minute, but this RGNF, this is our fake coin for this fake exchange. So, as you can see here, you can deposit any one of these. They got the trade view going through. We'll look at that in a minute. Here, this gives you a QR code to download the app. It doesn't send you straight to the Apple Store like this one does. It sends you to the Google Store. And if anybody knows anything about this, it's because Apple tends to have a bit tighter control on what goes into their store. So I'm guessing they wouldn't have even bothered to try to pass it through there. And of course, if we look for the developer here of BVK Coin, he won. This is the only thing he's done. That's it. Okay. Back here, we have copyright 2018 to 2022, right? Oh, right. Yeah, except the page is three weeks old. Okay. If we Google up this RGNF, you know, nothing pops up. It's a whole bunch of articles about just about everything else. And then we get to the RGNF site. It was the one link that worked on the front of the uh, page there. Now, if we look here, this looks, you know, fairly professional, fairly well put together. Obviously someone had some thought going into this thing. Right up until we look at the white paper which we got right here. Remember how nice and clean and put together the main page was? Uh, here we have tons of typographical errors. There, this is a garbage edit. This obviously was something else. I don't know whose white paper this actually is, but it looks like they made plenty of mistakes just copy pasting over the original text. Typos. Here's a fun typo. They just put in RGNF. This one's highlightable. Here is an apostrophe and then goes right down to the next line for the apostrophe S. Obviously they copied over something there and didn't even bother to reformat this thing properly. If we look here, the bullet points are overlapping into the previous one. Sloppy. This is a good one. Here's two lines that are completely overlapping each other. They didn't even care when they did this. Here we got a floating bullet point just right in the middle there. Sloppy. Stupid. But hey, let's look at the team. Let's just, uh, let's just pick out Peter Rusk and see what we come up with. Well, what do you know? The first thing, the first result, when you put in the stuff they wrote themselves, the Rust programming language Peter Rusk is the X Protocol white paper. Now, should we take a look at this thing? Hmm. The abstract? Okay, we had that. Well, this, uh, this all looks pretty familiar, doesn't it? Hmm. A lot of the same words here, a lot of the same uh, formatting, except none of the overlapping, none of the gross grammatical errors. Yeah, it looks like we found our original white paper here. What do you know? So we, yep, here we are back at the team. Peter Rusk, yeah, these are the same people. Just completely ripped off and 
slapped right in here. So X Protocol is the original. So X Protocol actually brings up search results. You can actually track the price on it. Binance has a price tracker. See, not only that, but it's been running for a while. And of course, if we look at our buddy RGNF here, you can see it's been running for approximately 25 hours. So this one's fresh, this one's bullshit, and this one's here to steal your money. X protocol ripoff. Sons of bitches, man. So this one is fresh from the guys who do Zarcoin and stuff. Uh, an eagle-eyed guy that I know spotted that the Zarcoin Telegram group changed its name to BVK Coins. So thanks to him, I'm going to leave his name out of it. But I hope this helps someone not lose money. Uh, just stay safe, guys. Do your own research.